Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 11. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to conceal your business logic or business code in the database. The problem here is the business logic in the database resides as plain text files. So you mostly end up coding your business logic in either stored procedure or UDF triggers or packages, etc. If you consider your stored procedure or UDFs or triggers or even views, these are all simple text files. Most of the database artifacts are uh, only the uh, text files which are human readable format. Uh, there are um, already mechanisms in place in the database like authorities, privileges, label based access control LBAC, uh, row and column based access control a new feature introduced in DB2 version 10 and above. So these kind of uh, mechanisms are already in place but they will really help you in terms of securing the business data. Whereas the business logic is something like the operations that you do on a set of data to arrive at certain uh, outcome or output. So that also needs to be concealed. So those kind of uh, things or SQL codes are actually plain text files. There are no binary equivalents for them. So if you look at uh, like a C++ application or C application or a Java application you have your source code and you have your binary code so once you compile the source code you get the binary code the binary code is pretty much in a unintelligible format so you can distribute it uh, or you can put it in FTP server or you can hand it over to the deployment team uh, without running the risk of exposing your business logic so a successful intruder should not be able to infer the business logic even if he somehow gets the artifacts right so that's how uh, it should be whereas that's not the case in in the sql code that we are doing like when we generate the ddls or uh, this thing for deployment it's not that way right the solution is obfuscation of ddls obfuscation is nothing but masking your sql code uh, in simple English, it is like transforming the plain text to unintelligible plain text. So when we look into the examples going forward, you will exactly know what, what is that I am referring here. Okay, It will be more clear when you visually look at the uh, unintelligible plain text or obfuscated text of the stored procedure or the UDFs like that. Now, what are all the objects that are supported? Stored procedures, UDF, triggers, views, packages and uh, federated objects uh, for certain uh, statements in federated objects are also supported. Uh, to get a detailed list, exact list, you can refer the info information center. Uh, so once the uh, stored procedure or the UDF is obfuscated, you can distribute it uh, or deploy it in a safe manner. You can send it over email to some other team, you know, or you can upload it into your FTP server uh, without much of worry, right? Because it, it is not in a human readable format. How to obfuscate? So that is our next thing. So we have three uh, methods. So one is using the db2 look command itself with the wrap option. Another one is using the function dbms underscore ddl dot create underscore wrapped function which takes an input string the other method is also using another function dbms underscore ddl dot wrap that is also taking a input as a string the difference between these two methods uh, or the, these two functions is the create wrapped will actually uh, create the procedure in the uh, database as a obfuscated uh, procedure okay whereas the wrap function will will not create the object in the database instead it will just give throw the output to the uh, terminal or throw the output as a output file okay and these both the uh, functions take a argument a string argument the string argument what you need to pass is the exact create stored procedure statement itself or the create uh, function statement or the create trigger statement so you have to pass it as a huge string as a single line huge string you have to pass it to these functions and they will uh, give you an output of obfuscated text. Let's quickly run into the examples. Okay. So here uh, I am connecting to a test database. I am creating a table which is holding ID like an employee ID and a salary and I am running a stored procedure dot SQL which is like I am creating a stored procedure and I am running the 
syscat.routines so i am querying the catalog tables for that particular routine so so even if a user who is having access to the catalog table can easily get our uh, uh, business logic sensitive business logic he has access so let's quickly run this connect to test create table okay so connect to test is successful create table is successful this is a stored procedure that i am talking about so it just takes couple of arguments employee number and a rating so if the rating is 1 you double the salary if the rating is 2 you triple the salary for any other rating the salary remains unchanged and i am querying the catalog table syscat.routines the column is text i can get the full salary code here Uh, the update salary stored procedure code here okay connect reset now this is the problem right so what is the solution for this use the db2 look here okay so look at the important option is hyphen wrap look at here the hyphen wrap okay so before that first we will without the wrap option we'll run we'll see how it is okay so it is running okay done so it has created the ddl.sql we okay, connect to test and all this so this is what i am talking about so the create procedure is there and it is in a human readable format this is the problem that we are facing now how to avoid that i can use db2 look with the wrap option i'll run this now now it is running okay done let's view the file now look at the definition of the stored procedure here the the syntactical things is kept here like the definition are related things like the stored procedure name the input arguments everything is in place the body of the stored procedure is obfuscated this is what i'm saying like instead of a human readable Uh, form it is some kind of a masked output or obfuscated output so this is wrapping up the stored procedure so the keyword here is wrapped and also look at this keyword so this is like your uh, version information so 10.0.1.2 which means uh, major release number 10 minor uh, uh, version number is 1 and fix pack 2 so you have to run this particular create procedure on the same environment or uh, on any other database you can run which is also having the same uh, release number and the fix pack level this is an important thing to note okay so this is the masked output that we are talking about now this particular create procedure statement can be easily sent as a sql file even you can send it as over email or upload it into an ftp server you can be somewhat confident about yeah so nobody is going to make anything out of this right even the deployment team they need not know the exact logic of the stored procedure right so that's what is so cool about this tool okay so that is the uh, wrap option that we saw okay now what i'm doing is i'm connecting to the mask database this is another database i'm having i'm uh, listing the uh, tables uh, and i'm again querying for the cat routines and i'm running the ddl.sql which we generated with the wrap option right and once i do that after that i list the tables so here i should find table a and uh, i am querying the routines okay let's see uh, what happens okay so before that i'll change here instead of test i'll say it as mask db so this is like another database okay so connect to mask db the table is not there the procedure is also not there i have connect reset then i am running the ddl.sql
okay so connection is successful create schema the schema is already there so that's not an issue you can ignore it create table is uh, created and the salary see here when i'm creating the procedure i am only using the masked code okay now i'll connect to the database list the tables and i am uh, looking in the catalog table syscat.routines okay so i can find here the table is there the procedure is also there but i cannot make anything out of the procedure okay so the procedure is is good like okay so we are just going to test the procedure whether it executes in a proper way so i am creating three records with uh, employee id 100 whose salary is 1000 employee id 200 salary is 2000 employee id 300 salary is 3000 so when i call the update salary method i am calling it for employee id 100 i am passing a rating 1 which means it will double the salary so the 100 should become uh, 2000 the salary for the employee id 100 should become 2000 copy this and paste it here see here so 100 is 1000 here so the employee id 100 was having salary 1000 once i call the salary so uh, the update salary procedure id 100 salary became 2000 so the procedure is executing fine even though if it is in a masked format and next i am uh, using the same db2 look for mask database okay and i am generating this time i am not using the wrap option because it's already wrapped right the stored procedure is already wrapped so now I, if i generate the db2 look so the output is sent okay look at here so even though i have not used the wrap option in the db2 look command since it is already the object is wrapped in the database it's giving me the wrapped output okay so that's now let's go back to the original database so there i am querying the routine uh, in the catalog uh, tables so the, the code should be available there so after that i am dropping the stored procedure and i am checking for it again okay connect to test successful so the stored procedure is there i have dropped so the, dr the drop statement is done and the stored procedure is deleted dropped okay so now the next method is so instead of using the db2 look so wherein even if you use db2 look the source code is available in the original database right so what we can do is you can use this dbms underscore ddl dot create wrapped function i have to pass the entire create procedure statement as a string argument to this function right the create procedure language sql everything i need to uh, pass here right begin declare end so the entire statement i am passing it to the procedure okay and if you look at here one more thing to note here is see here the body of the stored procedure is having single quote so this will create a syntactical problem so you have to escape that particular thing right so what you can do is like this double single quotes so that will solve the issue for you okay so let me just create the stored procedure and i'll take the uh, query the catalog okay return status is 0 which means it got successfully created and yes it got successfully created and the output is a wrapped one right the object in the database will be a obfuscated object now let's check whether it is working fine so again i am inserting few sample records and i am running that okay so the insert all got successful and this time i am updating the 
salary i am doubling the salary of employee id 200 yes so 200 is 2000 here 200 is 4000 here so the procedure is executing uh, fine right let us drop the procedure and look at what i am doing in the next thing so i am using the values dd dbms underscore ddl dot wrap function i am using the same procedure with the wrap function okay so i have dropped the procedure then i am using the wrap function then i am actually querying the catalog table okay the procedure got wrapped so the procedure got dropped okay then i am using the values uh, stuff right So the values actually ran. If you look at here, the DB2 values that command has run successfully, and it has come back with an output, which is the obfuscated stored procedure. Okay, so I can take this and distribute it. The thing is, since you are using the wrap function, the procedure will not be created in the database. That's the difference between the create wrap and wrap. So now, and the catalogs I am querying the stored procedure is not there okay that's the difference between those two functions and so here what i'm doing is the next one mon get package statement so i'm collecting the i'm trying to access the source code from the package cache right which i can easily do by passing a where class like this create procedure okay so from the package cache i'm trying to get the source code will i be able to get that yes see here values wrap the the all the source code is available here right so how to uh, how to avoid this actually you can flush the package cache so what a developer can do is use the wrap function get the uh, obfuscated text and flush the package cache so he can do that in a development environment without any uh, hiccups so that 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 is done so let's run the package cage statement again it's not there right only one record the uh, the source code is not there right so this is how we can completely uh, protect the the source code right the the business logic so even uh, you, it is obfuscated and even from the package cage it is removed so that way there is no trace of the SQL code in a human readable format anywhere right so this is a very useful utility obfuscation of DDL uh, that's it in this video tutorial please subscribe to my channel DB2 LUW Academy thanks for watching thanks all see you in next video bye bye